Hello again everyone, I'm just filming a, another moth that's just flown into my house this time. Hmm. It's a, a lesser yellow underwing moth this time. Huh. Now, the lesser yellow underwing moth is one of several other different species of yellow underwing moths here in the UK. Hmm. Now that the reason I know that this is a, a lesser yellow underwing moth is because I saw it flying around just a few minutes ago. Uh, but as you can see, it's not flying around uh, right now. It's just uh, just resting nicely on one of my doors. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there are several other different species of yellow underwing moths here in the UK. Uh, and there's the the large yellow wing moth. <laughs> Because, uh, of course, the, well, as I said earlier, this is a, a lesser yellow underwing moth, um, which is much smaller uh, than the large yellow underwing moth. Mm. Now the two are very similar in appearance. Uh, only the lesser yellow underwing moth is smaller, of course. Mm. Uh, as you can see, well, the forewings of this moth are uh, kind of dark brown in colour with some much darker markings on its forewings there as you can see uh, and yes the underwings are lighter uh, an orange yellow colour with a, a bald black marking on the underwings hmm. uh, so that's really how it gets its name and the lesser yellow underwing moth does. Oh, well, all underwing moth, I mean, all un yellow underwing moth species do, really. Hmm. Ah. Now, the lesser yellow underwing moth is usually seen flying around from, I think it's either from May or June through to September. Hmm. Yeah, so this is really the best time to see lesser yellow underwing moths here in the UK at least. Mm. And yes, like many other moths, it is attracted to light, mm, which is how this yellow underwing moth got into my house, really. Mm. And it is common throughout much of the UK, the lesser yellow underwing moth is, as well as throughout much of Europe, Asia, in parts of North Africa and it has even been introduced into North America this species has mm. yeah so they can be found mm, almost anywhere really mm. all right I think I'll leave this lesser yellow underwing moth alone now well thanks for joining me everyone and I'll see you next time